Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Spyro Reignited. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Yeah, you're welcome, Gosnold. For the Magic Crafters world, Please, don't, I don't mind if I hop on your oddly proportioned head. <laughs> We're going to be heading over to the Magic Crafters uh, homeworld here in this episode. We're going to be taking care of all the treasures, all the dragon eggs, and all the dragons. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's 300, two eggs... 300 treasures, two eggs, and I want to say three dragons? Three? No, there's... I think there's four. There might be four dragons. Oh, right, well, whatever. We're going to collect them all. <laughs> so let's take a quick look around. Um, that's the ending of the level right over yonder. And these pools right here, for whatever reason, I always seem to fall into. And this thief... Um, you you can't really get him from that angle, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to chase after him. But he'll jump up and he'll come back down. It's not a big deal. Let's wait for him to come back down. Usually he falls down if you give him some space. Up oh, and I did not mean to rescue Cosmos there, but that's okay. Hi Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Your, uh, your staff looks like the end of my tail, and I don't know how I feel about that. Also, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's really easy um, to get in the rig. Nitro for some reason, but he's, he's, he'd be tricky in the, the original. Um, and these guys attack a little faster than um, the original game for some reason. I don't know why they, they changed some of the attack speeds of the enemies, but that's okay. They're not hard or anything. They're just, they tackle different. And the thing I really like about this level are the green druids. They can uh, shape shift the world around them. And some of them are, like this green one right here, are based on the distance that you are to him. And some of them are just based off of like the time pretty much. So they'll, they'll be moving like a platform left and right on their own. And then they'll, they'll drop it after a certain time or whatever. Um, you don't really see them out in the Magic Crafters homeworld so much as you do in some of the levels. Now, this thief is just pretty standard. He runs around in a normal circle. Uh, if you cut off the thieves in their regular running path, they turn around. So, keep in mind um, that you can do that. Also, a lot of the dragon eggs are in this, in this world in itself. Um, I don't know why Insomniac decided to do that in the original game. But Toys for Bob and Sanzaru games. I want to say Toys for Bob did one and two, and I think Sanzaru did a majority of three. Um, well, anyway, the team that worked on this game uh, kept that the dragon eggs are all in the same levels. So, for some reason, a lot of these levels have two dragon eggs, and we'll be collecting the remainder of 12 in this world for some reason. Like, I don't know why Beastmakers doesn't have any. Um, a lot of the thieves and beast makers have keys or gems. So yeah, we're gonna run around uh, to this side to take out that druid so he can stop making his little wall. And these arrows on the ground allow you to do a supercharge. We're gonna allow our dragon friend over here uh, to explain to us how it works. So take it away, Xantor. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead. Try it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my supercharge ability to uh, knock some gosh darn heads. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. That guy had a bunch of gems. <laughs> uh, we're going to use a supercharge here to open up a reinforced uh, chest real quick, too. So we're going to jump down. At purple is our full speed. And right over here is super... Oh, I missed it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can... Uh, I headed into a level. My bad. I did not mean to lose control like that. Since I headed into the level, the treasure counts can look a little weird when we enter the next level. Because it already counted some of the treasure. That's okay. Behind this tower near Wizard Peak is a key for our lockbox. We have a hidden lockbox in this world as well. It holds about 10 gems. And we're going to make sure this druid dies again since we accidentally uh killed him i mean went into the level uh he comes back with the soul orb and he just comes back in general so yeah oh also there was three dragons not four i i, I wasn't i don't know why i thought there was four 
Where's Baldar? This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. Yeah, so Crystal Flight should be the first flight level um, that most people, like most beginner players, will end up going to because it's out in the open. Sometimes I run into it by accident, like trying to break open that reinforced chest by going down the supercharge ramp. Um, I like lose control sometimes and I like run right into it. But yeah, we're gonna have to thread the needle over here a little bit. Uh, it, it, it can be kind of a tricky run. But don't worry, with enough with enough patience and practice, you'll you'll make it. Just you know, stop hitting your face against the corners of everything. Um, the Reunited Trilogy made the supercharge a little more loose. It's not as tank-like, so Spyro turns a little easier. But that kind of makes the handling a little weird. If I'm gonna be honest with you. But yeah. Alrighty, so now we're gonna jump down here. We didn't take off every enemy. Um, here's a little path. By the way, that reinforced chest, we don't need the super we need the super chest to open up. We don't need the supercharge to take out that druid. You can do it by just walking on the side path of the pool, uh, jumping over the laser, and then taking him out. You don't have to like go above and beyond to, to destroy anything and everything. This druid is one of those on the time level uh, on the time druids. He just moves his platform up and down. He's pretty easy. Um, you can even jump on the platform while he's moving it. You don't have to like worry about it. So with this key, we're going to head back up here near the charge uh, ramp, and we're going to glide to the right. There's a hidden cave with a life in it and a lockbox. And this lockbox contains 10 gems, and those are the final 10 gems that we're going to be taking on. Um, and that's it. We 100% of the level. Next time, we're going to be heading into Alpine Ridge, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.